that. So today, very special treat. We have a sesame crusted ahi tuna and a Korean cucumber salad with a wonderful dipping sauce that we're gonna pour over one and dip with the other. It's all gonna be great. So join us around the corner as we cook this thing. All right, guys, here we are. We're gonna get started on our Korean cucumber salad. So Brian, it's all you. Sweet. We're gonna start with the dressing today. Uh, what I have is just plain white distilled vinegar. I have a lemon that we're gonna add the juice to. And uh, from there, I have some minced garlic. I have about half a tablespoon because we don't have very much uh, onion and cucumber that we're going to put into this. And uh, it's just basically throw it all together type of recipe. I have some white sugar. It's going to cut that acidicness yep. that's in the, vi uh, the vinegar. Doesn't really, it's not enough, it doesn't look like you're making it sweet. No, uh, just it just takes that. Down that bite. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Um, what I did is I took some toasted sesame seeds and I went ahead and blitzed them in a uh, spice grinder. I have maybe two teaspoons. I don't mind. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, it smells so good. I just love toasted sesame seeds. Oh, toasted I do too. nuts of any kind are oh, fantastic. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, that's, that's wonderful. Now, now, tell me about the toasting process. How long did it take? And do you fire? How high did you have the flame? I usually do mine at about a medium temperature. Okay. And then I just wait until it becomes fragrant to the nose. There you go. And once you can smell it, you just pull it off the heat, let it let it rest. Yep. And uh, use it for anything. Uh, next, I have a uh, Korean chili uh, powder. It's called goju gairu. This is the same pepper that they make in goju jong with. Yes. So this is that, actually that a paste, very... That taste I never can pronounce correctly. <laughs> right. Uh, last time Brian was on the uh, Chef Wen show, he actually brought these. And uh, we were he was showing off the spices and things like that that we went over. And so this was one of the things we talked about a lot. But... I added about a tablespoon of that. So how is the heat level and when you compare it to maybe a red pepper flake or a cayenne or something like that? This one is actually milder. Really? Yeah. It's it, you, There's a recipe I do and I use like two and a half tablespoons. Oh, wow. Yeah. And okay, cool. so it is pretty mild. I'm going to go ahead and add my garlic. And last, I'm going to add just a touch of sesame oil. I love sesame oil. I do not, to be honest with you. And here you are cooking with this. Yep. Look at you. Do a swipe mix. There we go. And now we have our cucumbers. I cut these on a mandolin to give ridges. This just helps uh, hold the dressing. Uh, it's just like your pastas mm -hmm. when you do your sauces. If you have a textured uh, noodle or uh, textured front, it just grabs that dressing. Right. So uh, what we're going to do is just combine everything together. Do you need a larger bowl to combine this in? I have one. Right. You came prepared. I did. Excellent. So this is this is really a simple dump and toss kind of thing. Yes. Yeah, it is. So we're just going to cup it. Now, why are you doing it that way? Because I uh, put a little bit of seed in there from the lemon. Oh, you're trying to catch the seed. I got yep. you. And there we are. Got it. So on that. Table. All right. And then that is our Korean cucumber salad. And so this will, this can probably sit and hang out and really get the flavors to absolutely. Come and just like most things, it's always going to taste better the next day, like soups, absolutely. stews. After this. Next, we're going to do a sesame encrusted ahi tuna. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, welcome back, my friend. And now it's time to get on to a really exciting part, and that is the sesame encrusted tuna and cooking that. So, Chef Ryan. All right. So today I brought two different colors. I brought the white and the black. Uh, sesame seeds. It just gives it a little bit more uh, eye appeal, mm -hmm. basically. They taste the same, and we're just going to put some down on the board. I will never forget the first time I ate a food with black sesame on there, and I was like, I, I, I thought it was poppy seeds or something else, right? <laughs> right? But they, they really do add uh, some variety to it. It's really pretty. Yes, absolutely. So I'm just moving it on the board. We're just going to get it all over. I'm going to get it everywhere. All right, guys, we are ready to go into the pan with this uh, tuna. He, uh, Brian, you've got it beautifully coated here. The pan is hot, so why don't you show us what's going on? All right, we're just going to put a very thin coat of oil on our 
pan. This is it. And what we're looking for is we're doing a really quick sear. We're going to do 10, maybe 15 seconds on each side, even including the sides, not just the top and bottom. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go ahead and drop her in. Okay. So you hear that? That's the fan kicking on. It's a little noisy, so I apologize. Yeah. So basically, I'm just counting in my head. We're going to turn the heat down just a touch. For about eight seconds, nine, ten, flip it up on its side, and we're just counting. And we're going to go all the way around, make sure every part of it's covered. And actually, this ahi tuna is going to be raw. Okay. Since we're only doing a few seconds a side. But I was going for that raw look for my plate. Right. Do that. So let me pull this off the heat. And we're done. We're done. All yeah. we have to do is plate. So do you let that and rest make a, a minute? Or, uh, yes, we're going to let it rest. I am going to make a sauce next. No. Uh, right. What I have is some soy sauce. This is actually tamarind. Um, it is a gluten-free option. I have a big jug of soy sauce. I didn't want to bring it. So we brought the little guy. What we're going to do is add a couple of tablespoons into our dish. By the way. Next, I'm going to add oyster sauce. This is a very flavorful sauce. Uh, it's great for that... Um, savory umami yeah it's a umami flavor. bomb is what that is exactly so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add just a teaspoon maybe a teaspoon and a half we don't want to add too much because this is going to thicken up a little bit and then the last ingredient i'm going to add to this is a little bit of sriracha just to give a little heat it's going to pair well with that cucumber salad that we have as well and that cucumber salad, I cut those cucumbers really thick. Yes, you did. Yeah. And that way it's going to cool down that spiciness. Oh, how cool. Yeah. From the... Uh, Excellent. Yeah. Very cool. All right. Uh, sriracha goes a, little, a long way. So we're just going to add about half a teaspoon, if that. Some people around here don't like spice as much. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. Uh, all we got left to do is plate. All right, guys, we are jumping right back into it, and now it's plating time. So uh, Chef Brian is going to take us through the slicing and the plating with the salad. we got a couple of different plate options here, so I'm going to let Chef Brian take, take right, charge. Sweet. So when I cut mine, I like to do it at a 45-degree angle. That way it's going to lay really nice. Oh, that is beautiful. That's a chef bite right there. Yeah, that is. Uh, we call that Chef Privilege. Will you look at the color on that? Is that not gorgeous? Okay, so... Now, we did not add any salt to this tuna. Okay. That's why the dipping sauce has a bunch of so uh, soy sauce. Where that's where you're going to eat your salt from. That is an excellent point because when you think about salting things, you have to think about the overall uh, plate that you're doing. And sauces like the soy sauce and some of those are the uh, oyster sauce, they, they have sodium in them already. So you have exactly. to balance that out with what you're doing with your proteins and other things. That's a great point. Thank you. And then we'll lay this down just like that. Do the same to this side. So the, thank you. Maybe I just need to practice more. <laughs> I think your plate skills are just fine. Now, what we got here is that cucumber salad. I pulled it out of the fridge. Mm -hmm. We're just going to lay this on the bottom. This is going to be our bed for our tuna to lay on top of. And this is going to bring some nice color to the dish. And that's why I like, we like using white plates when we plate. I mentioned that in one of my videos. Yep. By the way, thank you for reminding me of that. Chef Brian has his own channel. It's called the, uh, at the Jolly Roger AR, the Jolly Roger AR. And uh, you get on there. What What's that uh, Jolly Roger logo you've got? Is that... Uh, I got the, uh, the pirate skull yeah. mm -hmm. with the chef's knives crossing. Yep. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, so if you see that, that's him. And so he and his wife, Lynn, work together on that. So he's got some great video out there. So please go over, uh, watch his videos, like them, share them, and subscribe to his channel. Okay? Yes, thank you very much. You're welcome. No, thank you. All right. I'm going to scoop this. In fact, there'll be a link in this description that will point you right to it. So just take a look for that. Now we have one more ingredient. I have some microgreens that we're going to put nice. on top of our tuna. Just add just a little bit of color. Look at that. Beautiful. 
And then all I got to do is grab some paper towels, wipe the edge of the plate, and then we're good to take pictures. Yeah. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to clean up here. We're going to take a couple pictures. And when we come back, it's my favorite at this time of the day. It's tasting time. So we will see you around the corner. Welcome back, my friend. As you know, this is my favorite at this time of the day. It is tasting time. So, Chef Brian, please do the honors of Absolutely. what you created for us today. I'm going to go get the forks and spoons. All right. So we've finished our dish. I have an encrusted tuna, uh, ahi, and then we did that Korean cucumber salad. It's got a little spice to it because of the Korean uh, chili powder that mm -hmm. we put on that goju gyru. Uh, I am going to pour sauce on one. Goju gyru. And then the fermented version, goju gong. Go, goju gong. Yeah, I'm supposed to remember these things. And so I'm going to pour a little bit of our sauce. Well, wait a second. We use... have another taste tester in the house. Uh, <laughs> Chef Chef Brian's better half, Chef Lynn, is going to join us in tasting. So, um, Absolutely. So let's pass the utensils out. Thank you. You're welcome. So we have the sauce on this one, and this one is for dipping. So do you want to? I want to dip. Yeah, so we'll swap that out with you. Mmm. 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 Mmm, that is so delicious. Listen, guys. First of all, look at the stinking color on that. Isn't that beautiful? And that salad is perfect with it. It is. Absolutely perfect. Thank you. I was actually inspired with this salad. I did change up a little bit, mm. but uh, Aaron and Claire on YouTube, they inspired me for that salad. So I'm going to grab a link to them and I'll put that down wherever I put those links. But this is awesome. This is totally awesome. Lynn? Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> That's absolutely fabulous. Well, listen, guys. We're going to keep going, but we're going to let you go so you can make this for yourself. So thank you for joining us today. And remember this, a day in the kitchen beats a day of work in any day. We'll see you next time on the Chef Lance Show. Mm. Thank you. Yeah.